Hello everyone, this is Carlos from Interactive Geomaps WordPress plugin and in this video we're going to go through the options available in the visual settings tab. So the first panel has some uh, easier to understand options like the background color, we can change the background color, the borders, we can change the borders of the regions and we can also make them thicker or thinner up to down to zero. I'm going to let them at 0, 0.5 and uh, we also have the map height which uh, controls the aspect ratio not so much the map height in pixels but the the aspect ratio of the map so the default 56% gives us a 16 per 9 and aspect ratio it works well for the world map but for example if you have the France map Uh, there's a lot of space on the sides so we can change the aspect ratio maybe to a more squared 100% would be a squared aspect ratio it seems to work better you see it takes uh, perfect space like this so depending on the map you have selected you might need to change the map height setting so it looks better and you also have an option for mobile maybe on mobile you want, you want it to take more or maybe even less space Maybe you want it to look more um, vertical or horizontal or you need more space and you can uh, add a different value here. If it's empty, it's just going to use the same value here. So I'm going to go back to the default and select the world map again and back here. Next, we have the font family. So the font family controls, it's like a, a global um, font family rule for the map so I, I added Australia and I'm um, also gonna add a, a marker somewhere and for the marker I'm gonna enable the labels okay so we see it's inheriting maybe an Arial font or at least a sans serif font and in the visual settings we can set a global font for example Times New Roman those elements should inherit now the Times New Roman. You see the marker changed and also the tooltip is in Times New Roman. So although you can change the tooltip font family in particular in the tooltip options, this is just gives us the, gives the map a global uh, font family and the uh, elements will inherit this. By default it will just inherit whatever it is in your page. Next, we have the background image. Also, it's uh, easy to understand. You can select whatever image you want to be in the background of your map. So you see, the one common issue is not having the image being the same aspect ratio of your map. It doesn't match perfectly. You see, I'm gonna set the background color again to transparent. See, it's not really fitting perfectly because the, the image is not the same aspect ratio of the map you can either get a new image with the, the, the proper aspect ratio or try to adjust try to adjust the map height so it changes the the aspect ratio here I'm gonna actually uh, call it save the map I'm gonna call it visual settings settings okay and I have an option enabling the settings to be able to preview. Actually, this it's not perfect. They're still touching here, so maybe 60. Not sure if it's more or less. Uh, I think the other way around, so 62. Okay, it seems like 62 is the correct value for this image it's still not perfect still bleeding here a little bit but you get the point the image should be the same aspect ratio of your map you can either change the image crop the image to be the same aspect ratio or change the aspect ratio of your map so the image matches and the image the background image is gonna also zoom together with your map so this is different than setting a background of the container maybe on your page builder in the container where you place the map it's not going to zoom together with the map here the background image you place inside the default uh, visual settings here is going to be zoomable with 
the map itself. Okay, now to the second panel, the viewport settings. Uh, I'm gonna start with the options down here. Um, and I'm gonna show you right away what this does. You can offset, you can move the map horizontally or vertically in the projection. And uh, horizontally, it's easy to understand. You can put positive or negative values here. I'm gonna change the longitude offset to minus 50. And kind of moved it to the left, making Australia a little bit more central. Maybe you need the map to be centered in Australia. I'm gonna put it minus 80, even minus 90. And I'm also gonna add like a 50 offset projection for latitude. But we will see what's gonna happen. It's gonna bend. Now it's kind of bend the. This made the projection kind of calculate uh, the projection the country is a little bit different uh, it doesn't make much sense in the projection we're using but if we change the projection to the globe changing those values will make more sense because maybe we want the, the globe to start like in this position or this position and that's where those values will will take effect so maybe we're gonna try to put it like this to start like this in Australia so we're gonna go back to the visual settings. Not sure the values here. It's gonna take a little bit of trial and error. Maybe something like this. No, totally wrong. Maybe this needs to be positive. Okay, closer. And maybe this is no. But I'm not gonna be here too long but you get the point um, you can try to adjust the values to adjust the starting point of the globe map so I'm gonna go back to the normal projection and at least remove the latitude offset and we have a more readable map and we're gonna so you hopefully you'll under, you understood what this option does another very useful option set of options is the initial zoom and center coordinates um, maybe you want the map to start with a zoom level of three so when it page loads it's already zoomed into an area and you want it to be focused um, maybe like in the Mediterranean with a bit of North Africa the Middle East and South Europe and you see th these values here as they change as I change the map these would be the values that I can place down here in the center coordinates but there's this little option here this little icon we can move the map to where we want click here and just it's gonna copy it's gonna copy the zoom level and the center coordinates to the fields below so now we have the initial zoom at 530 the latitude and longitude to the values that we set so with this here we can zoom in and we when we click on go back home it just goes back to the initial values so that's useful uh, even on uh, maybe you're using a, a country map you want to focus on certain regions you have other things other options to also do that in uh, include exclude regions but you can also use the visual center and zoom initial values to achieve that and finally we're through these options and if you're wondering how you can change the region colors the inactive ones because for uh, for Australia we actually added and we can control it um, either if you're using the pro version uh, which you have to be if you're you're checking these options um, you can either choose the color here or the default and the empty color is what controls the the color of the regions that are empty so now they're gonna be all orange so hopefully the video was helpful and you understood um, the options available in the visual settings if you have any questions feel free to write us cheers